Saga, me ain't me, but promise if we add a member. I stay faithful from November on the next December. No average marriage, but your life will be such an adventure. Iced out in Iceland in the blue lagoon, dead of the winter. Stop listening till you lose a family, come fuck with a winner. I'm from a city where Yo, what's up guys, it's Garrett, and today I'm gonna get is a new tutorial, and this is gonna be on how to create your own lower thirds, and basically what these lower thirds are, and you see in the bottom left hand corner, they are, uh, they're kind of like a little PNGs that kind of pop in inside of videos and stuff like this, and a good example is Phase Apex uses them, and uh, basically, it's just like a little animation you can do with them that they come up on top of your screen to give people a reminder, you know, to leave a like on the video, to subscribe to your channel, to comment and share the video, stuff like that. And uh, basically what we're going to be doing is creating one generic one that you can use for all three of these types in the bottom left hand corner. And uh, before I go into this video, if you guys missed it, I did do an overlay tutorial of the one on the top right here and you see in the middle. But uh, I was doing a whole kind of series with this for YouTube and Twitch live streams. So this is going to be the episode of one of that. And every 75 likes on a video, I'm going to be releasing the one after that. So go over here and like the video and check it out. You know, you will learn a lot from this, trust me. So, uh, more than I can say about this is if you guys want to purchase this, it's gonna this lower thirds right here is gonna be a dollar on my cell phone. The overlay is two dollars, and uh, basically all this money that I raise off of these kind of things is gonna be going towards my website to help create you know better content for you guys, release better packs, and uh, it's pretty much bringing you guys better graphics overall. So uh, enough of me talking, let's just get right into it. If you guys are starting off to do this and you guys haven't watched my other overlay tutorial, we're gonna be using the Obey pack, which is made by Obey Max. <laughs> Little former Obey Max, and we're gonna be using a uh, just a regular logo, and basically we're gonna have to be using the internet to get an icon of the thumbs up. So uh, other than that, you're pretty much not gonna need anything. You just necessarily do not need the pack itself, but uh, it's really helpful when you're doing this kind of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is just actually I'm just gonna take these and bring them up to the top, and this is basically just gonna be like a reminder on how to do them. And uh, just give me like a little reference to look back and forth from so I can create the best content for you guys. So well, the first thing I want to do is just start off with the whole kind of background. I'm using a 1920 by 1080 space. You know, it is the best when you guys are doing this because you can downscale to 1280 by 720. And uh, I'm just using a kind of black and white blurred out Halo 5 wallpaper. So what you want to do is basically just start off on a document and then click these uh, little black and white squares in the bottom left hand corner and grab an ellipse, which you just kind of hold on here and grab the ellipse tool. Create a circle. And then you want to make a new layer and you want to click over here and make it a rectangle and you can zoom in you cannot i'm just going to make it like this and we're going to end up sizing it over again and basically just bring it like this and then kind of size it the best you can and uh, this is when you want to guys like want to zoom in you know and uh, basically what you're doing is you're just completely sizing the square to uh basically be the same and like same height as the as a circle and uh, you'll know you get it when you have to keep moving it back and forth and it has like a smooth transition like that so uh, once you have this done basically all you want to do is just zoom out and uh, make sure it looks pretty much good to you and then just hit this and hit control E which is gonna merge them both together so uh, now that you have this you guys can either do one of two things you can keep it this long if you want to have a really long text that pops up on the left hand side of your screen what I like doing is I like just shrinking it just a little bit and uh, just make the size a little bit smaller. So uh, now we can either work with two ways. We can just leave it in the middle of the screen or we can work it from the left hand side. I'm just gonna leave it in the middle of the screen for this tutorial, but I did do these looking at the left side of my screen. It's a lot easier for me to understand what I'm doing. So uh, now that you guys have this, it's a black rectangle. You can la label this like uh, just background, just you know, m make sure you guys know what you're working on. And uh, if you guys have this pack, I would definitely open it up right now, the Obey pack. If not, you guys can just watch and use what kind of stocks I'm using. Now, these are very generic and kind of uh, graphics packs overall. We're going to be using this kind of blue techie stock that we're going to be blurring out to make kind of blue light. And we're going to be using this geometric um, stock just to help bring out a little, like, a little color and shapes. So uh, basically, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to drag it into my file. And uh, for some reason, whenever I'm recording, my computer lags a little bit when I'm dragging stuff over. So uh, just bear with me on that kind of stuff. And I'm just going to pretty much put it in there. And I'm going to make the Gaussian blur like a 2.7. And uh, how to make this on top of the background. You know, if you guys import this, it'll just be over everything. You want to hold Alt on your keyboard. So there's kind of like a bottom arrow pointing down in a square, which is going to be clipping mask. Just kind of place it in there. And then you guys can just drop this, you know, right in the middle. It doesn't really matter too much where you're putting it. All right. Um, now that you guys are done with that, you basically just want to click out of that and then grab that geometric shape. It's all in the backing section of this pack. And uh, same thing as I said before, you do have to drag it in, but uh, my computer's a little bit slow when I'm doing this. 
So uh, now you have to do that, you're pretty much just going to drag it below that blue square and then drag it, um, the blue square under it. And then you can move this around to kind of put it in any other like, direction you want just to help create a, kind of a different look and different shapes. So uh, now that you have this, there's going to be one of two things you guys can do next. You guys can create a light bar or you guys can add a logo. If you guys are doing this for a channel, it's really good to have just sort of their PNG logo up on hand. And uh, you just want to take it. And you want to shrink it down just a little bit, not too much, because you're going to be doing a lot of uh, a lot of sh shaping, a lot of uh, a lot of resizing when you're doing this kind of stuff. You just want to drag the logo in, and you want to put this below the geometric shapes, and you want to kind of put it up here, and then go from your normal up to your soft light. And you guys can put it on soft light or screen. I prefer putting it on soft light. And then you want to pretty much choose a good, uh, pretty much choose the best kind of size or best kind of angle you want, you know. For this one, I use kind of like you know, a random part of the uh, the head, and uh, you guys can just move logos around and stuff like that, and find like a good area. I'm gonna use this actually because it looks pretty sweet. And uh, now that you have this done, what you want to do now is basically just click under the uh, the blue light right here, click a new layer, and you want to grab a rectangle again, flip it over here using these arrows, and just kind of drag a little white square right here, and then put it to a soft light. And what soft light does, it basically just makes it kind of like an overlay. And uh, now that you guys have this, you guys can start working around with other things. For this, I'm going to be using text, and I'm just going to click above on this geometric shape. And for font choice, I'm using Evo Gria, which is E-V-O-G-R-I-A. You guys can find it on defont.com. It's a really good font for this kind of stuff. And uh, for the text, the top text, you guys can put anything you want. Like, don't forget to. All right. And then after this, you just want to size it just a little bit. Maybe make it a little bit smaller and then make the width a little bit more like kind of change that and uh, you can leave this to leave a like all right and now you have to do that you want to put the size back down to like zero and if you guys don't know how to work this kind of thing right here um i have a tutorial on it on my channel it's a text tool tutorial basically you want to click this little document right here and i'll bring this up and this is just like helping resizing stuff and kind of bring it in closer and stuff so i'm going to size this up pretty big um compared to the text and I'm going to put the L ending to the D like that. And then I'm going to take the right hand side and drag it in, hitting Control T. So you guys have this part. And you guys can bring this down a little bit and a little bit up or if you guys want. And then you want to highlight both, hit Control T, and then just kind of shrink it and put it inside the middle. And like I said before, you just want to put it the best you can in the middle. Um, if you want to zoom in and change it, that's probably the most ideal, but I'm just going to leave it the best I can the best place that looks good maybe I'll zoom in a little bit if you guys zoom in it's easier to uh, put it in places it's easier to transform so uh, now that you guys have this what you can do now is go over to like more websites and stuff like this um I'm using a flat icon.com and basically I did a, a whole video on this um non-sponsored and stuff you know this is a really good website to get your own kind of vectors and pngs and then you can type in like thumbs up all right and you guys can choose any like, any single one of these really like really it doesn't really matter but uh any one of these would really work um i already have one in use just a regular old thumbs up it's kind of like a cartoony effect which kind of matches the whole entire overlay style that we'll be doing and uh all you want to do just drag it in hit Control i if it's black and then just kind of shrink it a little bit and you want to put it on the whole side right here and just kind of angle it so it's kind of a uh, kind of just a little bit different you know it's not just straight up or anything like that and uh, now you guys do that now you want to start adding kind of colors and um other stuff to help draw it out so you want to click above the logo that you have right here and grab the brush tool and put it on its lower size around like 80 or 70 or 60 and just kind of make one big streak behind the text and put it to overlay all right now that you have that you want to make a new layer and then you want to grab the little black right here and you want to make it a pretty decently bright color always put it at the top top left hand corner and uh make it any color that you're making the overlay in this case we're making everything blue because i think blue is a really good color and uh we're just gonna click right here and kind of lighten up everything maybe twice as good and uh basically it creates a nice little effect right here so uh, now that you have this basically what you can do is just grab everything and grab the text grab the thumb and you can just drag it over to the side like I did for all these. And you can just put it right here. And uh, now that you guys have this, you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. 
Um, mine's a little bit bigger than these ones, and a lot of uh, the width is a lot more. But it's basically the same concept that I did. I made the uh, the drop shadows a little bit lighter as well. And uh, I did bring out a lot more blue, but you know, you can do whatever you want with this. And if you guys want to change the text, it's really easy to really accessible. All you have to do is pretty much highlight it. So you can like, don't forget to subscribe. And you know, you all have to do is click right here and center it again. And uh, you should be fine. So basically, this is the whole tutorial on how to create lower thirds. If you guys want to save these and import them to, let's say, After Effects, Premiere, Sony Vegas, you know, iMovie. Um, you know, the list could go on Movie Maker. What you want to do is basically group the whole entire lower third that you made together. And, uh, let's label this, like, um, final or something. And after this, what you want to do is hide everything else inside that document. So it's just this whole entire thing by itself. And after you do this, you're going to go to File and then Save As. And then you're going to go to a PNG. And basically what this PNG is going to do is it's going to create a whole entire document just based off of this. And it's going to make the whole background transparent. And uh, now that you have that done, you know, you can import it. Let's just say you're going to import it to a Halo 5 gameplay like this. And uh, in your software, is like After Effects, you can just bring it down. And uh, you can pretty much keyframe it here and then bring it up. Oops. You can bring it up right here, keyframe it again for five seconds and then bring it back down. Or uh, let's just say you can... All right, let's just say we merge this together. It's probably a lot easier. Yeah, let's just say you have this right here, right? Um, you can keyframe it right here, and then you can kind of like bring the thumb up slowly through the keyframes and kind of outwards. So it kind of looks like the uh, logo is kind of like, I don't know, saying like, yup, like subscribe. And it can like bounce back and forth, and then, you know, it evens out. So uh, that's another thing you guys can do. It's another option. And uh, it's really the endless what you guys can do. You can make the thumb on both sides and you can have just like a pop up like this and then pop back down, make a little dinging effect. And basically it's honestly endless on what you can do with this kind of stuff. So that's basically it for the tutorial. If you guys want to leave a thumbs up every 75 likes, as I said before on these kind of videos, it's going to release the next tutorial after that. I'm going to be trying to do everyday uploads, which you guys are definitely um, enjoying a lot more than what I did. Like I upload like once like a week, once like two weeks. So uh, basically, that's it. As I said before in the beginning of the video, if you guys want to support me in making my website, there's going to be a uh, sell file link in the description. You can buy my lower thirds right here on the left hand side for a dollar. You can buy the overlay for two dollars and all the money is going straight to the website. It's about like three hundred and like twenty dollars to get it up and going. And uh, on top of that, I got to pay for a lot of like stuff on like clothes stickers everything like that's gonna be a huge price so as i said before guys i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if you guys have any more suggestions just let me know in the comments below or definitely hit me up on twitter or there's a form in the description as well and basically that's gonna be it for today's tutorial if you want a tutorial on how to animate these lower thirds let me know also because i know it's not uh something that everyone would know so as i said before guys I really hope you guys are enjoying your summer and stuff like this. You know, it's coming to an end, and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And just let me know how you guys like this, and I'll see you guys later on. Peace out. Please don't knock over my